Live from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates taking on the New York Yankees. John Chambi alongside Chris Singleton. It's been quite a series so far, and the excitement's only ramping up as we get ready for game five. Well, being down three games to one, calling it a do-or-die game is no exaggeration, but these situations tell us a lot about a team's character, and for some teams, it brings out their absolute best, but for others, it can kind of prove to be an overwhelming scenario to face, and so we'll see how they show up here today. And we'll also get to see what kind of killer instinct they have on the other side. Some teams can get a little too relaxed when they're so comfortably in the driver's seat. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So up next, Eric Stevens. Eric has got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. And no one can get there. One runs in. Cut off. Now a throw home. Tag safe. It's 2-0. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters... They take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. Kicks and fires. Hey. Thank you. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Tries to back pick him at second. Oh, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me ridden all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. They get two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Pirates, two, and the Yankees coming to bat. Back in the Bronx, new inning getting started. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Eric Stevens. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Hammer, base hit. Tough game for him so far, Boog. Another hit, and they've just been knocking him around through the first two plus. He's got to get things back on track, maybe junk a pitch that isn't working, or he might not last much longer. Next is the designated hitter, Brandon Marsh. Went down on strikes his first time through. The 1-1. There's a swing and a drive. Judge going back, back some more. Makes the catch up against the wall. Throw behind the runner, and they've got him doubled off. Oswald Peraza stepping in now for the Yankees. Up next for the Yankees. Not shortstop. Oswald. The pitch. This one in the air center field. Stevens under this one. He's there. He's got it. One away. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. And they have this new ballpark that is absolutely gorgeous. But there's still some of that old school feel to it. DJ Love The 0 1. That's out to center field. Stevens on the move. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. And there's two down. Yeah, you have to connect the past with the present. And they did a really nice job of the Monument Park out there where you can go and walk through. And... Now One down. Here's a speed threat. Eric Stevens. Stevens. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field.
Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. The throw in. He's in there. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Luis Heel gives way, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. Clark Schmidt gets the ball now. Huge opportunity to add on to the lead for this offense right now, but we'll see what he has to say about that. He's going to have to make some great pitches to work out of this jam, though. And here is Brandon Marsh. And that is cut on and missed. And the count, one and two. Left-hand batter waits. And that one gets past the catcher. Nothing happening on the bases, though. Hey, let her fly up there. Joe, the runner at third. Stevens over at second with one down. Still two and two after the foul ball. Oh, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. 2-2 two -two now. Down and in, moved his feet. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy, to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boog. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Scott Kingery up to hit. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. Base is loaded. One away. Righty to the plate. Fights it off. He'll see another. Right guy, right spot. Come on now, kid. And here it comes. That one misses, and it's two and two. It's a good take. Swing get a ball popped up. Dunks one into left. One runs in. Oh, the throw is wild. And he'll make it up to second as he advances on the throwing error. Oh, you hate to make mistakes with base runners, whether it's giving up a home run or making an error like that. And it's costly. Two runs come around to score, and sometimes that defense can just tighten up a little bit, get too excited rather than just settling in and making the play. Back for more from the Bronx. And now the center fielder, Eric Stevens. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. And a pitch. That one hammered center field. Way back there. Gone! Big dog's got to eat. That's his third home run of the series. And they add a run. It's 7-1. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. I thought for a second he brought it back out there, too. He gave it a great effort, but, you know, those plays are so tough to pull off, and I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it. Eric Stevens, the next to hit. 
And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. Berg measures six feet four inches, 27 years old, and they traded for him earlier this year. And first offering is fouled off. Hey, let's go, big fella. One down, base is empty. And a base hit up the middle. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. And next is the designated hitter, Brandon Marsh. Move over to first, trying to keep him close. Another throw over, and he's back again. Kicks and deals. Run around the move. Now this is in the air down the line. And that will drop foul. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. Next offering is foul back. Runner goes again. Got him swinging. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Now back. Second base. Scott Kingery. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Scott Kingery. In the dirt. Runner holds, and it's a full count. Man on second, two down. Battling here as he fouls it away. Runner at second, two down. See you drive it like you can. Here you go. Rocketed out towards right center, and no one could get there. It falls in. The run comes in from second. It's 8 1, and that's a double. Well done, drives in the run. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And now the first baseman, Richie first Baca. Baseman, Richie Baca. The why to kick the pitch. In the air, center field. Stevens settles under it. And there's one away. Now batting. Congratulations to the World Series champions. Incredibly special team. So proud of these guys. I know the fans back in their hometown. Everybody going nuts right now. It's going to be such an amazing reception when these guys return home. Welcome back on the show as we see some of the final moments and reactions in this World Series clinching game. And now let's go down on the field where they're set to present the commissioner's trophy to the World Series champs. For Chris Singleton and our outstanding crew, I'm John Chambi. This has been the World Series on MLB The Show.